These are my uh, peas that I started in a tray. It's a 72 cell tray. And a lot of people um, are unsure how to water plants. Now, you can use a spray bottle. But what a spray bottle often does is actually gets the plant wet and could cause problems. So what I use is a baster. That allows me to direct the water where I want it at without the force being so strong that it disturbs the top of the soil. And I also water, a few of the seeds didn't come up, and I continue to water them also. Because sometimes they will eventually come up, they're just a few days later. If you were to pour water on this tray, what it would do is cause the soil to move on you. The force of the water. So the basing or the baser, this is what I'm using. Actually, my sister bought me this one. I had another one I used to use for watering plants and I can't find it. God only knows where it's at. I'm hoping to actually get these in the ground this weekend. Peas can actually withstand some colder temperatures. Down below freezing, as long as it's for short periods of time. You know, you wouldn't want it to get 12 degrees for a week, but it can handle 12 degrees for a couple of hours. I believe that's pretty much done. So again, you could use a spray bottle, but let me show you what happens actually. Well, actually, my spray bottle's empty. <laughs> um, I usually use spray bottles before the seeds sprout. And then I switch over to the basing uh, thing once they actually come up. This is my bok choy. I started actually in one of my arrow gardens. And it come up before the other plants came up. So what I did is I put them in red cups. And I always plant bok choy because they grow so fast. And uh, I'll start new seeds about every two weeks until I get the number of plants that I want for the year. Which is usually about ten. I got five here. That one back there is actually looking pretty dry. I 
I planted two seeds in each one of the arrow garden sponges and then I'll pick whichever one looks the strongest you can see like that one right there both seeds have come up but neither one of those is looking good the rest of them are looking pretty decent though and down here I've got some parsley now if you were to use like just pour water into this parsley every one of those plants would just fall over because you can see the stems aren't very big but by using this basting needle I can control the water and it doesn't affect the actual plants so uh, that's how I do it hopefully you find this tip helpful and uh, thanks for watching as always God bless you God bless your family and God bless your homestead